G'day folks, Dragon. A uh, short video on the road trip we're doing. We're in a place uh, called Naranda, uh, Riverina area of uh, southern New South Wales and probably northern Victoria. The river I've got behind, standing behind me here is called the Murrumbidgee River. It's part of a huge, a, um, huge inland river system of the Murray Darling Murrumbidgee River system. itself flowing from left to from my left to right so it's actually flowing into uh, the Murray River much further west of us. Casman area for this uh, river it's quite a deep river um, it's off to the east and includes any uh, runoff from the Mount Kosciuszko apart from other areas, but uh, quite a large catchment area. Now over the years, uh, there's been like, quite a lot of controversy uh, between the, the state and federal governments, and that includes Queensland, over the Murray-Darling, Murrumbidgee system for water allocation, for irrigation, for crops and things like that. Uh, it's still going on today, actually. It's uh, one of the problems uh, these river, inland river systems face is um, drawing a lot of water off, and particularly in times of drought and uh, overuse of water. Uh, so to preserve the uh, these rivers, the Murray was uh, a big problem in recent times. Um, the state and federal governments got together oh, about 18 months, two years ago, and decided, well, we'll have a sit down and talk about this and we'll talk about water allocation to irrigators uh, for the Riverina area and other areas where they grow crops that uh, use irrigation water off these systems. So uh, that's pretty well it. Deep river, good fresh, it's all fresh water. Good fishing in here. The river level's a bit low at the moment but then haven't had a lot of rain down this way and uh, we're in our autumn months now so uh, there's any uh, snow mount off the, s the snowy uh, mountains, Mount Kosciuszko, those places. You get a good winter, uh, then you'll probably see some water come out. Also in this part of Australia down here, uh, southern New South Wales, Victoria, their wet season is du usually during the winter months when they get the, uh, very severe cold uh, weather systems coming off the southern ocean, Antarctica, those sort of places. So. Uh, Yep, famous Australian salute, flies. That's pretty well it folks, just a short video, and uh, catch up with you later. Ok folks, this is the Murray River just crossed into uh, Victoria. The Murray River virtually follows most or forms part of the uh, New South Wales Victorian border for most of it anyway. Uh, this is a very old river and back in pioneering days in some parts of the river where it was wide and deep enough they used to actually have paddle steamers uh, going between the various townships that sprung up beside the river on the river banks. And this river originates, um, it's got a huge catchment area up in the snowy mountains. Flows roughly east-west across uh, the bottom end of Australia and uh, empties out into the sea in the state of South Australia. So, uh, and off to my left, a long, long way away, is the Darling River where it joins the Murray, the Murray-Darling system it's called. And of course the Murray Bridge is a previous video it also flows into this. And the Darling River has its origins up into the Gulf Country virtually in Queensland. In fact around my place there's a sign on the highway that says this is part of the Murray-Darling catchment area. So it's got a huge catchment area, the Darling River, flows into the Murray. And uh, as I said, it's been a lot of controversy for years now over irrigation and uh, water allocation out of these uh, very old river systems. 
town across the road there, across the creek, sorry, the river, more like it, it's Tockermore, New South Wales. Yeah, so we crossed the dotted line on, on the map and we felt the, felt the speed bump, according to Mrs. Dragon anyway. So uh, this river is a bit low at the moment, it's flowing. Used to be good fishing in here, they've got a sign back there, no fishing, don't know why. Murray cod, that sort of thing. Yabbies. Yeah, some fool introduced European carp into these river systems too. So uh, this is this is only a small part of a huge inland freshwater river system that stretches right up into central Queensland, almost up in the Gulf Country, runs down the eastern states, and um, across the southern parts of Australia, Victoria into South Australia. So uh, doesn't look very big here. It's better in other parts. Albury, I think, uh, has, has a better idea. Uh, much bigger part of the, the river. So uh, that's it, folks. That's the Murray River, part of the Murray Darling Murray Bridgie system. See you later. Hey, okay, folks. Well, just heading back to the highway on this. Uh, dirt track along the um, Murray River, along the river bank. Back in that previous video of some campers down there so I couldn't pan around much. But, um, when she floods she comes right up here. Uh, more campers. Whoops. <laughs> yeah they call them beaches down here on the river bank. So oh, do it this way. Pretty thick bush. Yeah. We're Queenslanders. Anything south of Queensland borders Mexico. Just joking, folks. There and I'm not putting the camera in that one. Yeah, just straight through there. Can you zoom in on it? You can see the paddle on the side Hang of on. the boat there. It's probably a mod one or refurbished one. Can you zoom in and out on that? Yes, It's fairly typical of what uh, was used in the pioneering days. For this was a trading route up and down this river. Somewhere a little bit bigger than that. Uh, they're mostly for holiday makers now and uh, historical um, replicas, or some of them were actually rebuilt. There's a solar panel on that one too. Uh, yeah. Didn't think I'd see one. Wanted to, wanted to get a video of one. I don't know if the actual paddle actually works on that one. Can't see it till it's moving, but it's it's got a paddle on the side there, one each side. So uh, yeah, interesting. All right, I'll get back on the highway. Catch you later.